Hello everybody and welcome back to Workers and Resources. Apologies to my regular viewers. <laughs> it's been over a week since I uh, last uploaded and there's been a reason, it's been a slight problem. I had a, I had already recorded this episode. Uh, I built a load of stuff, I built a steel mill and a couple of mines and a load of other stuff, but unfortunately uh, the video was just, it just wouldn't process. I don't know why. It, it, failed twice on me so I tried to fix it and then I messed all the time lapse up and everything so <laughs> I ended up scrapping it um, and one of the reasons was because the information was already out of date I, I recorded it uh, just before we got the building upgrades um, new mods that are available so let's have a look at them I'm gonna reload the game in a minute but I just want to run on a couple of months just to save up some money um, but for those of you who haven't seen these already, there are loads of new buildings in the um, on Steam. You've got to be on the test branch at the moment to be able to access them. But you've seen the seen the big flats. Well, since then there's been quite a few added. A few I've done myself. I redid those uh, brick flats. Those were the first ones I did. Um, they were pure white. I've I've given them a brick texture just to make them look a little bit better. I much prefer that the way that looks to the original one. Um, there in there they're just called brown brick. I also did some graffiti versions. Um, it's just from the mouse over there you can see there you go. So <laughs> try not putting it behind the tree. <laughs> You've got a graffitied mess <laughs> all over the buildings and they light up at night and everything. Um, there's three of them, they were just for a bit of fun, just, just so I could learn how to do it, learn how to make them. Um, since then I've been doing something a bit more functional. I did a 3 into 1 engine transfer. It's a little bit tricky to connect to. Um, let me just, let me just pause, let me just save a second. Oh, start spending a lot of money. Right. Um, where is it? There is. All right. So the traditional one is one in three out. Um, this one now is three in one out. So you can you connect up two mines or something. Three mines going into it. Now I have been having a little bit of trouble with the conveyor. This one's fine. That one you can connect to. This one you can connect to fine. These two can be a little bit tricky. And it does often depend on where your camera is. It, they are, the, no, see, that's connected to the opposite side now. I've tried to fix this, but I, I, I keep trying, but I can't. The best way to do it is to come from the mine itself and go back like that. So try and get it to highlight the the one that you want and then move from it and you can connect up so that will it will work it's just a little bit awkward um, the reason the main reason being is because of where the uh, where the connection is I'll show you of course it's gone dark <laughs> but you can see here anyway the the main connection is quite far away from the building so it's it, it's not interfering with anything whereas these ones I've had to put them quite close into the building otherwise they'd be connecting up out here somewhere and there's going to be a big a big gap in between them um, the reason is because down here they connect really low in I've tried moving them a bit closer in but it doesn't work and I've tried moving them a bit further out and it just looks silly <laughs> if there's a big gap in between and it would mean me remodeling the 3d model in order to put one of them in either side so it's it's not something i'm prepared to do at the moment it's not something i'm really capable of doing at the moment um but yeah it does work it does work it's just a little bit awkward that's all um what else to do there's a great big statue which is fantastic um Oh yeah, this, I'm showing you my ones. I've <laughs> done not everybody else's. I've changed the transformer, so the transformer was originally a, a dead end with two 
it's got a road connection either side and one high power in so I've swapped the road around um, and put the put the high power at either side so now you can just build build through rather than I mean normally you'd have to put a splitter here a switch um, let's go back to the Now you can just put one of these in there and then connect your high power cables up to that. And now you can run medium voltage cables straight off there then. And that, it's just a lot neater, it's a lot easier. Because um, I've got places like down here. Um, where's the this? This is all a bit of a it's all a bit of a tangled mess and I can't get the high power out of here unless I was to squeeze a splitter in there, a switch. Um, so I'm going to change that and put put one of them in here and then have a through pass and then have another one over the other side of town. It's just for convenience more than anything. Um, what else we got? I'll get to the construction offices and things in a minute. They're not mine but I will talk about them. We've also got fire stations um, and a couple of schools by Sebastian. Uh, Jabilski made the construction offices which are awesome. Uh, there's some buildings. Um, someone was actually asking if you could run out of space and I've just figured out that yes it's going to run off the screen. So if I had a, another row of buildings, anything after that, I'm not going to be able to get to. Interesting. Okay, I've only just discovered that. So <laughs> somebody literally asked about that shortly before. Um, doctors, tower block, what else we got in here? What else did I make? Oh yeah, woodcutter, the uh, lumber camp, the logging camp. I've put an extra factory connection on and a footpath just to make that a bit easier. Uh, it's a cinema school. Ah, yeah, my biofuel plant. I'll get to that in a minute. Where is that train station gone? I've just downloaded the train station. But no. Strong. Ah, there it is. Absolutely massive train station. Um, Lexar made this. Lexar's made a few of these mods as well. Um, so you've got a four track train station with a big platform on it. Go on, let's, let's have a look at it. Excellent footpath connections. It's going to take a while. <laughs> it's literally just uploaded this, so... But you may have seen it, because this video won't be out till tomorrow, probably. I need to record the time lapse and edit it and everything. It's got a big train station. It's built based on a real one. There we go. Not sure if these are active parking spaces. Uh, road connection. Road connection there. Hmm. Yep, that is awesome. That is amazing work. Love that. <laughs> Love that. That's great. Right. So um, yeah, apart from a few other buildings, is sort of like. Uh, city hall type things. There's a couple of schools. There's a couple. There's a couple of different size fire stations. Uh, there's a really small one, a medium one, and a large one. This is awesome. This is a <laughs> massive statue. I couldn't get the lights to work on this, um, and I don't think monuments. The the type building monument doesn't allow you to have electricity which doesn't, which with no electricity, it doesn't register to have the emissive for the lights, it's an extra texture. It's a little bit complicated, but basically without electricity it doesn't work. Um, you can't connect it to electricity, so I had to change it to a church, basically, in order for it to accept electricity and for the lighting to work, because there's four spotlights on it that light it up. Um, Right, the last thing I wanted to show you is ah, my biofuel plant. Now, part of the reason I did this was because of the how awkward the oil is to get to. 
because it's right over there. So basically I've created a building that can turn crops into fuel. I've retextured it. I've put a little biofuel symbol on there. It was the concrete plant. Let's just pause the game before it disappears into night time. Um, so this is the original building, uh, which is the concrete plant. It doesn't affect the original building in any way. It's a new building, just use the same model. Um, but it's now got green colouring on it, so it's a little bit different. So if you have them close by, they don't look the same. Um, now the pipes, there's a, a two factory connections on either side here. They're easy to connect to. Obviously you need to connect to something. Um, and there's two footpaths at the front as well as a, a street. The pipes themselves are a little bit awkward to connect to. You have to build a little bit first like that and then you can build out. So just get a little bit like that and then you can take them out. If you try and connect into them it's just Oh, that was that bit of pipe. No, don't destroy the building. I want to show the pipe. Yeah, if you try and connect into them, you get that. You get building in the way. If you try to connect from something to them, it won't work. It's something to do with the model, and I can't, I can't get it to work any other way. The only way it will work is if you just do a little bit first. Once you've done that bit, it's fine. It'll connect, and you can go wherever you want with it then. Around the building, if you want. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a. It's a little bit strange that it does try and connect to the other one. <laughs> it's usually good if you build that one out first and then build. Still try to connect to it. <laughs> there you go. That's how you connect the pipes on that anyway. Um, obviously this does light up when it's got electricity. It's not got electricity where I've built it. But I have just spent 600 grand showing you them. <laughs> Is there anything else in there I wanted to show you before I go and reload the game? There's a cinema, I just wanted to have a look at this, there's a new one. Um, Sebastian, the Bastion. It's just uploaded this one as well. Don't fast forward. Get the statue built up, I can show you as well. Now, you should have power. Not a transformer nearer. Oh, no, there's one over there. Oh well, it's in daytime anyway. Yeah, another nice cinema, that's good. So do Kino. Got some bicycles outside. Oh, cool. Boys, they were good. I like that. And that's that big massive statue. <laughs> that's great. Right, that's enough messing around with that lot. You've seen them now. Um, just for those of you who haven't seen them, if you're not on the test branch, I don't think you can have access to these yet, but it should be should be getting released at some point, quite relatively soon. Um, but if you want these and you want them now, you need to go into the beta testing branch in Steam, uh, and then you get access to the workshop. Well, you should have access to the workshop already, actually. And just click on buildings and they're all in there. I'm going to go and make a comment about that, about this running out of room on the screen because um, that's something important and I'm going to go and reload the game so I should be back shortly right okie dokie it's not going dark don't worry <laughs> it's started off at just going into night time so I'll just fast forward it a bit right I have pre-leveled this area um, I want to move these construction offices and the reason being is I want to set these back because these uh, I want to set these back to the vanilla ones how they were. These are a modded file from the Russian site which I've had for quite a while, um, and I'm going to be using Jabilsky's um, construction sites from now on. So before I reset the file, I wanted to demolish them all. Um, that way there is no issues. Because I'm not sure what would happen to the uh, vehicles 
if I reset it back to vanilla and it's only got 12 spaces in it, there's 20 vehicles in each of these, so I want to move them out of the offices just in case it does anything weird or freaky. <coughs> that office there was useless. <laughs> um, I need to sell some of them vehicles. So, yeah, up here, that's where I want it to be. Um, now then, let's. I'm going to turn off the auto search while we plan things out. I don't want to start building just yet, save it for the time lapse. Right. So I'm going to build a new construction facility up here. Um, start off around here. Yeah, I pre flattened this area. No, 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 no don't pay for things. Right, I reckon that'll be big enough. Should be plenty big enough actually. Um, I want to save this side for a bit more town expansion. So, let's get some medium storage in here. Right, so I want four of these. That road's a bit, a bit skew with. It depends how you're looking at it, really. No, it looks in line with that one. That's fine. Um, don't have to be perfectly straight. I don't really want that road to connect up. Maybe if I delete them. See, it's set it, and I didn't want it to. Reason being is because I was going to go and put the put the road connection in afterwards. You see how it's done this chop 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 chop. Now, if I build that with my construction crew, they're going to do it bit by bit, and it's going to take them ages. <laughs> and I don't want it to take them ages. I want them to build it pretty quickly. Go to there and let's have a nice little corner going around that way. Take this up here. Right, um I want the construction offices over this side just because of the pollution from the vehicles. Um, I don't want them too close to town. Just thinking what else we need in here. We need a need a warehouse. That could probably squeeze in here because there's not much traffic ever goes to the warehouse. Only the odd covered hull every now and again. Go on. Right, get that in there. Right, so that's the facilities covered. Um, now I'm thinking asphalt and concrete now, I could do removing them up here but I think I'm going to leave them there for the time being. It does mean a bit of a, it does mean a bit of a trek to come and get them on gravel as well. These, um, these were out of that construction yard down there. Um, building a gravel plant up here as well. I don't I'm reluctant to build a gravel plant at the moment. I do need one here. Um the reason I'm reluctant to build one is because there's gonna be a, a steel plant going here and I'm gonna to need to get the conveyors in the stuff so I think I might do the conveyors first and then build a gravel plant afterwards. It does mean sending them down there to get gravel and stuff but it will just have to have to do. Um, right, so construction facilities are there. So, uh, construction offices, we've got a choice of 8, 16, 20 and 32. Personally, I would have gone 8, 16, 24 and 32. <laughs> it just makes a little bit more sense, but I did kind of mither him to get the 32 one done, so uh, 
he wasn't going to do the 32 one, I don't think. I did kind of talk him into it a little bit. Um, but I greatly appreciated it because it's it's one I'm definitely using. I'm having two of them, actually. Get one there. I'm going to put one about here. Right. Um... 16. I think I'll have two 16s. These can be my road crews. That's what I put on this end. And I'm going to have one 8. And that 8 is going to be my path through. I'm going to have two 32s for all production. Um, two 16s for road building our groundworks um so two sixteens for groundworks crews I think one eight for the paths no I'm in two minds I'll I'll look at the set up a little bit later that's that's that should be fine though that should give us more than enough like I say I do want to rebuild those other construction offices but I'm gonna to have to demolish them all first and then put that file back to how it was and then reset them to vanilla but I will be using Jabilski's um, construction offices so I'm gonna have We'll put a couple back down here where all this production facility is. I'm leaving all this here, uh, but we are going to build another another lot up here basically because um, I've still got building to do down here and I haven't decided where my uh, biofuel place is going just yet. I'm not sure if I need to build another farm. This is pretty full. Uh, I did put an extra truck on that. This one's full, I think. I think I can run the biofuel off this, you know. Um, I might put it over here somewhere. Oh, it takes 25 workers, so I don't need to get a lot of workers out. So I'm just a little bit concerned about the pollution, because it's... It is a cement plant, and I didn't alter the... Um, I didn't alter the level of pollution. I did alter the colour of the smoke. It was grey and I've changed it to white. Um, yeah, I could do with it here really, but I need to move them cables as well. I want to redo these cable connections. I have got the money to redo them. It's just a lot of faffing about. <laughs> I need electrical beer as well, yeah. Right, so storage, 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 construction yards. Um, I'm going to have to rebuild these during the time lapse. So once I've emptied all of these, well, I'll, I'll have to I'll have to demolish these once these are built, um, and then go and put them back in, and then I'll get them crews to come and rebuild them then. <laughs> I know I've got the money, I could just rebuild them by cash, but yeah. Like using my construction offices. Um let's get that off there. I'm thinking about getting this built before I move the construction offices. I think I am gonna do, you know. We could definitely do with some we could definitely do with fuel. Can I get a road out of here anywhere? I did have to put an extra road in because this actually burnt down while I was recording the version of this episode that didn't work. <laughs> that, I, that I trashed. Binned. <clears throat> it's quite a night time. Actually, let's just pause it there. Right. I hate doing electric. Demolish. I should have done this in the morning. Get that out of the way. Take a few of these wires back. I'm 
so I won't be able to reconnect it up again. Um, let's bring this one back down here so that I can get this road out. And now I've cut my farm off. It's going to have to stay cut off for a minute. Construction offices down here. Um, I'm gonna have to pay for it. Right, pause, pause. Don't build the road. Yeah, oh, go on. You can build it. I've got enough money. Um, now I need a road connection across here. Where's the bus stop? Stops there. That's fine, they can come around that way. So that oh, auto building. Oh no, I need auto build. I need to put the electric back in. Where's my transformer? Right, I'm gonna face it this way. Do I face it this way? Yeah, it seems make more sense because the wires are going that way. I'll we'll face it that way. I'm not sure where I need to set the power line to so I'm just gonna put it in this way for now. Rolled out there just so the fire engine can get to it. This is why I saved up a load of money. <laughs> right, we don't need the high power out that way just yet. We do need the medium voltage connecting up again though. And we've got one from this side, which we will try and squeeze along the side of this road if we can. Get you connected up. Right, let's leave that there for a second. Right, so there's one there. Take that back to there. Get around that way a little bit. Let's connect that one up. Let's get this one connected up. Let's get it on play so we can see. going to. Let's get that one in there. Right, so this end of town is connected up. Oh uh, yeah, that one there. I'm going to have to overlap these a little bit. There we go. Double check, make sure everything's plugged back in again. <laughs> yeah, um, during the recording that failed this substation here burnt down and I didn't notice <laughs> I was over there building the steel mill and watching everything going on over there so this whole side of town and the food factory stopped production which is why I noticed sorry not the food factory the clothing which is why I noticed because my income suddenly went down and then I realized that I didn't have any clothing um, there was nothing being sold so I came to have a look there was a truck stuck in, all the trucks were stuck in here. There was no electric and I lost about 2,000 people. <laughs> so yeah, that was a bit of a, bit of an error. This is a mess. I need to redo this, but um, it'll do for the time being. Just want to get this in here. It's only nickel, it doesn't need to be big. Um, we need a... Need a grain silo next to it, so get this in here as far as I can. Do not auto build this, I cannot afford it. You can level the ground out. Don't pay for it. Not really left enough room there. Let's 
move it back a little bit. Should have, should have done this well. I had two excavators in that construction yard down there. I could have done this then. Um, no, 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 no. Damn it. Right, I've half built that. Oh well, saves me a few trips. Um, now, I want a... I want a fuel storage. No good looking in gravel. There's the input. I can get a green one there, there we go. Right, the output's there, so I want a road cargo station connecting up to that. No, I don't. I want a fuel unloading. So I want you about here. Do not auto build it. Let's get some pipes. Pipes. A little bit. Connect that one up to there. So factory connections or a factory connection pipes booked in right, let's get some roads might as well build asphalt roads because I'm going to upgrade these roads soon anyway don't you give me too much descent oh no you're going to be really awkward now aren't you Let that one up. Yeah. <laughs> well, you do build it. Oh, let's see if I can maybe connect this one to it. Built the road if I have to do. <laughs> right. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Let's get rid of the electric. Spend more time doing this than I'll do anything else. Fiddling about with stuff. Pain in the backside. Right. Let's take that all the way back to there. Gives us an opportunity to tidy this up a little bit. These don't have to be paved, it could be gravel. for them roads, the gravel. Because otherwise I'll be here forever trying to get them laid in. Um, I am going to let them build the asphalt road out to here though. Um, where are we going with this? I'm going to connect up onto this definitely. I'm not paying for this though. Oh, 
gravel. Um, I know I've chosen to pay for it. Right, so let's just get them built. Oh, let's get this electricity connected back up. I actually remembered. We <laughs> normally only remember about halfway through building the bloody time lapse when I notice that half of it's in darkness. <laughs> so let's go this way, around the back of this building here, and. Put across the front of this. There we go, it's a bit neater. I get that built because that's my food factory. Uh, food factory, clothing factory, clothing factory. Now I could go and sell some fabric, but the fabric's like 900 a ton. The clothes are 3,700 a ton, so. I've for 1800 rubles, I'm getting 1800 worth of rubles with the fabric, I'm getting 3700 clothing, so there's no point in selling it, I might as well just keep it. I'll just turn it into clothes. Uh, this does kind of get full occasionally. I did lower the limit on the clothes, I might even drop that down a bit further. We don't need that much in there. Um, it gives a bit more room for fabric. Yeah, because we're only paying for the chemicals there, and uh, I might as well might as well stockpile that. Right. So is this all set up? We've got a uh, got loading got there. Um, crops are going to be coming from here. I'll just have one truck going up and down there, and then. I'll have a truck going around delivering to me gas stations. That's the main concern with that. I'm not bothered about export. If I was bothered about export, I'd probably build three or four of these with um, with a big farm attached to them. I'm not bothered about export. I just want to provide my own fuel, basically. Um, so as long as I'm not paying for it, it's just another expense off the off the import list. So how much did we spend on fuel last month? I spent 10 grand on fuel last month, so... I'm still buying a little bit of meat in. Gravel's paid for the roads. We'll get chemicals soon, but chemicals are a bit awkward. Um, right, I'm going to go jump into a speed build, I think. Um, get this built. Get a truck on the go. Possibly export or some, I don't know. See how, see how much we're getting. Uh, this can produce 5 tonne of fuel a day uh, from 25 tonne of crops. So, in order to do that, I'd probably have to have a couple of trucks, and that have been draining this. Um, this truck I've got is going up to supplement the food factory, but it shouldn't really need to now. Full on food there anyway. Let's drop the alcohol down to 50, 45 tons. That'll do. That gives us another 70 ton room for food there. Um, that this I want to rebuild. There's quite a lot of this. I actually want to rebuild. But see now we've got to start having some mods in. I can read it. Start redesigning stuff. Um, but for now we need to build this new construction office because steel is something I want to get on the next episode. Um, I'm going to build a steel mill, get these coal plants in, get these moved, redo these electric. Um, but this episode we'll have the biofuel and we'll have the start of the new construction facility. I'll redo the electric 
once these are finished building all this I'll go and knock all this down I'll pay for this bit to be rebuilt putting another transformer over this side because we need one up we need electrical up here as well um, and then I might have I'll, I probably will I'll have the I'll have the construction crews come and start rebuilding things down here I'll include that in the time lapse right that'll do <laughs> that'll do pig that'll do right let's go over to the construction yards let's get the game on pause let's tell them right you lots you lots get working on roads you start I'm completely lost where are we over here start getting that built do we need it? No. Um, right, let's get me over construction offices. I should have grabbed them while I was here. What I generally do is pop them up in the corner here like this. And then I can open them and close them as I need. Right, I don't want them on auto search because I don't want them going off up there yet. I'll get this lot done for me first. Right, so you can. What have you got? Your mixers and diggers and stuff, excavators and stuff. You can help with that, and you can start on these. Uh, need road connections for those, right? Your yeah, you might as well them in the same order at least. We get that pipe, yeah. <laughs> this is what I've got to do now. In between top recording scenes I've got to go and click all these and tell them which bits to do. As soon as that road bit's done they come and do this bit. And when that bit's done they can come and do this bit. I could relay that and get that in one piece but it's not that big a deal. It's going to take a little bit longer, um, but while they're building these, they'll have that done anyway, so then I can just go and tell them to get them other bits done. Right, I'm going to go over to the construction yard so we can watch some tally ho. Construction crew, off you go. I'll see you in a bit. Thank 
Right, so the construction offices have built the construction offices. <laughs> um, there was a little, sorry, I'm just moving my keyboard. Um, there was a little bit of a problem with those other construction offices. I'd, I'd replaced the, I must have replaced the uh, original file already, and only 12 of the vehicles are showing up in the menu. Um, eight of the vehicles were disappeared somewhere. They were there. <laughs> it's got to click on them manually because I couldn't select them from the construction office menu. But uh, now we've got these. We've got these new ones. Lexar's ones, which are excellent. <laughs> They're really good. I like these a lot. Um, I've not got this properly set up yet. Um, oh, there is something just before I go, before I talk about these, the, the mods. We've got pages. <laughs> that was quick. It was actually just landed, um, maybe about an hour ago. I saw it. Only not even not even an hour ago. As I'm recording this the next day after. Obviously, I did all this last night. But, um, yeah, they've put pages into the mods, so that's a lot better. Can have as many as I want now. Um, yes, I want to reset. I want to reset. I want to organise these offices properly. Um, I am going to have a crew stationed here, um, ready for going doing some work, just to save me moving stuff back and forward all the time. Um, so this crew is going to be set up for picking up the stuff down here. I've got a few trucks trundling back and forward to go and fill these up. Um, I'm paying for steel, obviously, um, but bricks, prefabs and boards are being brought up. There's one of the trucks just off now. Um, <clears throat> so they'll be they'll be full soon. The, I've only got these two construction offices were the only two I was using at the moment. Um, like I said, I want to go and reorganise things. So I'm going to go and fill that other office up. Move all these about. Get them into some kind of proper order. Um, decide on what I want where. So these are going to be my main crews for doing all the big jobs and everything. I think I'm going to have these for doing roads. Just have this one for footpaths. But I'll play around with that anyway. I did build another one. So there's a 32 space one there and there's another one down here. Um, this one I'm going to leave empty uh, for the time being. I don't really need to build anything more down here at the moment. Um, this is working, although it's not producing very much, <laughs> which I knew it wouldn't anyway. It can only produce five tonne a day. Uh, it's getting work, is it? I've got one bus coming just from this bus platform over here. Um, so the workers are getting in there. It's just I've got four trucks on it at the moment. And I've got one which is going to this gas station down near the border and then to the border. I'm going to change that one because they're not... I just kind of set them up quickly. I didn't do them... Um, as well as I could have done. Like that one's going to quite a few places. It's got seven drop-offs, whereas that one's only got four. That one's only got two. That's the one going to the customs house. I think I might stop it actually. So I'm going to go and reorganise those a little bit better. Um, just take my time and get them spaced out so that. So that they're delivering to like four or five gas stations each. There's two down there. There's one over here. The next couple, oh there's one there. I don't think I delivered to that one actually. No I didn't. There's three that are quite close to one another here. Because there's one down here there. Found. Did I pick that one up? Yeah I did. Not got anything yet. Um, yeah, I want to go and reorganise those those gas trucks a little bit. Oh, I'll have one coming up here doing this this end. I'll have one covering servicing this. I've one servicing these. I've one servicing these around town. Um, and that should get hold of the gas situation. I might I may have to build another one of these in order to 
keep it up. But, um, yeah, I did say I didn't. I did say I wasn't going to export from here. But what's one of the other Nothing. <laughs> it's sold any fuel at all? Sure, we have. No, we haven't sold any. Oh, okay. But it's not a chance. That one's not a chance yet. These are just sitting here waiting at the moment. Um, wait for this little bio plant to produce some fuel. Getting crops. Truck there going back and forward. I've only got one on there because you're only coming to here. I don't want to empty this too quickly. Um, I am going to go and upgrade these roads as well. I'm, I'm trying to save up some money for doing it because. I did actually, on my previous recording, the one that I binned, um, I did actually go and upgrade a load of these roads and I had to build, I built a bypass and then got all the roads tarmacked and made sure the traffic could get in and out, but it was a, a bit chaotic and um, for the amount of money it actually saved me, I might as well have just gone on, just gone and built them all, paid for them. So I am going to go and do that at some point because I want to go and upgrade all the vehicles as well. So, um, but everything's working fine for now. Um, I do need to tell that construction office. That's I also need to tell workers to stop going there for the time being. Add that hose. Just to try and speed up the production a little bit because I was only getting two or three workers at a time. This needs to be told to go to here. That's right, that's right, I've set it. Yeah, Kilbrysk. Um I did have it set to this this bus stop down here while well, uh, when I started building that, um I forgot to change the bus stop, so they were going all the way up there to pick up workers. So I had it set to this bus stop for a little while, this one here. Um I must have reset it, must be fine. So, that's not working yet, not properly. Um, I, definitely need to, I definitely need to do them trucks a little bit better. Um, is there anything else? I think that was it for now. Right, so we've got, I did put the electricity in up here, we've got a transformer here ready to, one of my altered transformers so I can take it out. I need to do. Um, not too keen on the placement of this line, and I didn't. I didn't go and do the alternate where I cut every other one out. I should have done that. Um, I might take that further down and along the coast, up and around that way. But that will come when I do I'll redo all the electrics. So I'm gonna. When I've got a couple of million in the bank to go and spend, I'm gonna go and up unwire. <laughs> Is that a word? I'm going to go and demolish all the electric <laughs> and rebuild it all. It's going to cost quite a few quid that, so I want to make sure I've got a few million in and I don't leave myself half powered anywhere with people leaving and dying because I can't get food. So yeah, we have a biofuel plant. Whoops. What did I just do? I've just clicked off the screen. That hasn't frozen it. No, no, we're all right. Um, <laughs> sorry, I don't know. He just let me click off the screen now for some reason. Right, so we've got a bi biofuel plant which is slowly producing a little bit of fuel. There's ten tons in there. Um, these fill up on a percentage basis. So I've, uh, I've noticed your internal storage will fill up at the same percentage rate as your external storage. So. For example, this has got just over 50%, so there would have to be 450 tons in here. Probably about 460 before this will start filling up. And then once that hits that halfway mark, they'll both start filling up then at the same percentage rate, but not at the same fill level. So, um, if you know what I mean, as this fills up another 10%, this will fill up another 10%. So 10% of this is 90 tons, but 10% of this is 2 tons, so for every for every ton we fill in here, we need 45 tons in here, pretty much. Um, that's something I noticed with the storages. 
I do want to make a little warehouse as well. I'm going to make a smaller warehouse than this. Looks like we've got a QA now as well. You waiting on? I'll call. Are we out of crops. Doing over here. We're out of crops there. I've got three trucks on that. I'm going to have to send one of them back. Um, you go and sit in that depot there, please. So yeah, I need to upgrade these farm roads. I need to upgrade the farms as well. Uh, I want to get newer vehicles in there because we're still running on the first vehicles that I bought. I'll we'll definitely get harvesters and faster trucks. Get these roads paved. Um, so I'm probably just going to do it bit by bit. Maybe one farm at a time. I might do one farm before the next episode. So I'm going to have to pay for it. Because otherwise it's going to cut off me food and alcohol supply. And for the money I'm going to lose. While it's sitting there waiting. I don't want to buy any crops. I really don't. I might just manually buy some in. Twenty grand, three hundred and forty ton. That should hopefully tick us over a little bit and get get this backlog out of here. Let me click on that, yeah. Right, so we should be filling up. Go to the customs house. We might as well go. Four grand. Not quite full either. You coming in for food? Yeah. 110 ton of food in there. Right, that should clear that. Is any of these... Right, he's alcohol as well. Um, might send him back. He can go and sit in there for a little while. Just see how we're going. If the alcohol starts building up, I'll send him back out again. But yeah, I definitely want to upgrade all these roads. Get some faster trucks. I could cut down on the amount of trucks I'm using then. I don't need as many. Just make it a little bit easier to manage. Right, so we have a construction yard. Ready to start expanding our way down this way to Polochievo. We're going to have a steel mill, some iron mines. and It's going to be a rail construction depot up here somewhere. I haven't decided exactly where yet, but it needs to be up somewhere near wherever the steel mill is. Um, and I'm going to need gravel, probably get gravel from here. And do a gravel processing somewhere around here, get a bus running up. Loads to do, absolutely loads to do. Right, I'm going to call it the end of this episode. Alright, thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed this one. Give us a like down there if you did, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.